Another job I was asked to do was to change the heater core in this 300 TDI heater. And I think there's more to it than that. So these controls have all seized up. Oh, it's having a, it's having a wee on my bench. Let's take it out and see if we can free anything off. Right, I've got the little screws out. That's seized up. Yeah, that one works out fully enough. Yeah. Isn't it amazing we haven't lost that little uh, connector? Let me put it down there and we'll lose them together. Right. Let's see if we can get this off here. I have to take all these bolts out. No wonder you can't change it in situ. So in order to get to the bolts we've got to take this little bracket off here. It's held up with some 8mm uh, bolts. They're you know, nuts as they say. This off. I think we might have to pop this in the blaster and just blast it off. Got that sort of Malawi mud on it. What the heck's that? Oh dear me. Good job it's not acid, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, for somehow I was almost under the impression that you could change these uh, heater blowers by just taking the top off, but you can't. You know, like the Matrix. Go take the whole heater out. Oh, Kirk's is back, so it looks like we're going to have to build a tank. Well, let's get this out first. How was lunch, Curtis? Oh, man, it was great. <laughs> I'm not to you. Yeah. We'll do the best thing since sup breakfast. Yeah. Two toasts. Two toasts? You're yeah. on a diet. Huh? You're on a diet. Oh, skin. Oh, you broke? No. <laughs> Some cups up there, Curtis. You're drinking out of tap. Dear me. Right, let's see if we can get this out and then we'll put we'll go and uh, get that tank in. There we go. Hey, you're on video, you know, Curtis. They don't see me, they can hear me. They can't you can hear you, yeah. I think it's me. There we go. Now we can get this out. What the hell is that? Oh. Well, now that's come off. That's good. Turn, turn. Pull, pull. Hmm. Got a new one now. But the uh, the pivot vent here. Oh, there you go. It's worked its way out. Of. Stuck. All stuck up there. I don't think they needed a heater in Malawi, did they? No. I think we'll, we'll seeing we're making a job of this and it's all full of all sorts, we'll uh, wash it up. Put it through the blaster, eh? Wash it first. Well, no, because then it'll be wet, it's dry now. I put it outside, it'll dry. Well, no, what I'm saying is we can. There's no point washing it. But what we'll do is we'll put some tape over this badge. Okay. Mask it mm -hmm. and whack it through the blaster. Okay. It's been painted once before. Oh, not unless they did it like this at Land Rover, it just runs everywhere. Yeah. Probably. Think of a shit. Right, we're going to put a tank in. Yeah. Good. Better wash my hands. Look at this. I've got half a Malawi on me. <laughs> oh. Well, right, <laughs> it's time to put this heater back together. It's all nicely painted now. I just put a bit of masking around that sticker just to make it look a bit alright. But we're going to uh, dedicate this video to uh, Neil and Jeff. Now Neil sent me 
some mirrors for the uh, series trucks these are actually brand new Tudor mirrors I didn't even know they still existed thank you for that Neil that's off for Jeff in Ireland who managed to get me a bottle of Jameson's across from Edmonton to here I didn't even know that service existed now thank you one and all for that now we're going to observe that we're going to put this change these heater matrixes over now oh, they're pretty ordinary, not special. But one thing you've got to observe is at the bottom there is a foam stuck on here and a foam stuck on here and a piece of something round here. I don't know what that is. We must put those on, otherwise it'll chatter about. Now these are 300 TDI TD5 type heater matrixes, and they are very good, providing you can get hot enough water to go through them. The fins are extremely tightly packed. This is almost like a Discovery, Discovery One Range, uh, later Range Rover. So you've got hot water, but the air going through it will transfer the heat even better. The more fins, the better, all right? It's good though, isn't it? Oh, you would have thought I made that up. So the first thing we're going to do, well, where's the first thing we're going to do? I think we'll take off these bits of foam and clag them onto this one here. Now there is a seal goes around here but it's very poor condition. I think we'll have a look at that first and see where we go on but when we put this in we fit it from the top first. Now I'm just you know I haven't done one of these for years and years and years. I'm wondering whether we should put the top in first to locate it and then put the seals in. Well I'll tell you what let's put it in with a couple of screws. Now this is, can be left or right hand drive which was kind of a good idea. Oh no, wait a minute, I'm thinking about... T TD5 hoses came out this way. The 300 TDI hoses came out that way, but the matrix is the same. Don't worry about that. Sorry it's confusing. It's Friday afternoon and I've had a shitty week. And uh, I don't care. Right. We've done so much this week, it's unbelievable. Right, let's put that through there. And then put this cover. Now, it's got a wide point which goes over this big hole here. Just underneath the fins. Turn it round like that. Should go in. Does it? Oh, oh, suit you, sir. Now there's a couple of screws in here to hold the heater to the plate. I'll just give them a very lightest of tight tightens up. Oh, if it's going to go, oh, it doesn't look like it, does it? These are aftermarket ones, so. Well, that one's gone in. Why would that one go in? Of course, it's in a recess you can't get to. Um, I think the screws are all the same length, I'm not sure. Oh, that's it. Right. Now we've got to get under this lever, this lever here. So lift the heater up, push it forwards, grab a screw, and push it in. Now the, the key to anything, whoops, The key to anything when you're doing nuts and bolts, washers, studs, anything, put the bolts through the holes first and then go around them and tighten them up. Don't, don't just put one in and tighten them up because it will hinder you. I'm going to put the screws in here then we'll have a look at the bottom. Once the top's all in, like that and looking smart, then we can put it back on the bench and upside down and we can start to see why we need this uh, form piece in here. Oh shh, do you mean? That's not going to come off is it? That one's coming off, and that one's coming off. It's very important that something's down here because otherwise it's going to rattle like crazy. They go onto there, like that. So I'm going to use some spray contact adhesive back in a tick. In hindsight, it would have been wiser to fit this before you put the heater in because it just sprays glue everywhere. But 
maybe I should have used a brush where it's Friday, I can't be bothered. Now, put them in. I've got to try and get this piece off now. Let me see if I can get it off with the super dismantling tool. In fact, they've been more popular than, than ever. Uh, I'll see if I can get this piece off. Is there no end to the uses of that tool? Look how nicely it cut that off. So put some spray. This has got one of them sprays that, 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 that sprays everywhere. Except where you don't want it to be. Right, give it a wig around. That's stuck. Now, it's a pity it's made like spider's legs. I'm just going to look at this here. I wonder why they had a form around that side as well. Hmm. Where does that go? That must, that must trap itself onto here. Um, let me put this together. Oh yeah, that goes over the top of that one, doesn't it? Oh, it's starting to pull tight now. Right, that goes into there. And then this... Must be supported there, but what does this bit do? Is there a bit missing? Am I missing something? But what's the point of that form there? That doesn't make any sense, does it? Hmm. How odd. Let me look into this. Well, I've got it all bolted up, and as far as I can see, these strips around the side are held on by this little clamp type arrangement here. Uh, so I guess that so when it's left and right hand drive, the form, the clamp would be on the other side. Hmm. But it seems to be working. And the heat is pretty secure. <laughs> as secure as Land Rover would be. Um, yeah, I think it's going to look alright. I mean, the seal's a bit broken here, but the other piece is on the car. So all I'm going to do is put some contact adhesive around here, and so when it goes on, that nobody will be able to open it again. The uh, the flaps all working, everything's working. So I suggest now looking over here, we put on the housing for the fan. Now this is all done by uh, pop rivets, as usual. Nothing too exciting. But it also bolts under here. There you go. I've got to find a little nut for that because it obviously snapped off. Um, yeah, let me get that. We'll put some pop rivets through here and then we can put the motor on. The fan uh, enclosure is held on by um, six uh, one eighth pop rivets. One, two, three, four. Five, six. Barely adequate, if you see what I mean. They don't really do much. But they'll do the job. So let's go and get now the blower and then we can test this bad boy out. This is the motor. Ooh. Look at that. Come out. They said it's made in the UK, but you know, sometimes when you look at cardboard boxes and the like, you can tell. Wait a minute, phone's going all day. Somebody's trying to call, but it won't, they won't pick up. Well, I'll pick up, but it won't pick through. Sounds like pocket dialing, you know, when you've got your mobile phone in your pocket. Anyway. Which way is this going to come out? I think these heaters were originally made by Smiths. Oh, you see how they've protected it? Oh, it says gate on there. I don't know that so you've got to ask yourself, why did I buy a new heater blower? Um, 
when I could have found a used mortar to put it on. Well, the problem was. Oh, what the hell have I done here? Um, the squirrel cage fan trying to get these off. It's a bloody nightmare. See, if it was if it was Smith, you would have thought they would have written it on, but there's nothing on there. Um, these motors will run right or left. It doesn't matter. But the problem you have is trying to get. Well, you can get the clip off easy enough, but. It's trying to draw it off the shaft after it's had water and all sorts in it over the years and you end up breaking this fan. So, and you can't buy the fan individually, it's crazy man. I could buy a little 12 volt motor like this and bang it from anything like a Chevrolet or a GM or something like that. Uh, but I couldn't get the right dimensions of the fan. For the price it was bloody expensive. Right, let's that whinging on. Let's get it on, as Marvin Gaye used to say. Put that nut down there already on. Wait a minute, I'll change it to me better socket. These are, uh, what's these nuts? These are uh, M5s. Let's take that spring washer off. fasten it down. Right, there we are. All assembled. All we've got to do now is clip this to this. There we go. Pretty pathetic. Now, in the next few minutes I'm going to actually um, fasten everything down on the bench, fasten the camera down because we're going to test this motor. We don't want, the last thing we want is the immense power of this blower blowing everything over the shop so I've even put ratchet straps over the building just to make sure it doesn't get blown away like a tornado because this is going to be wicked let me go and get a battery I've got it hooked up, I've got the negative wire onto the black wire of here however it's on the wrong way around watch this, look here's a piece of paper, test paper look at that now the wire's on the different way around so we put the negative on the red and we put the red on the black already it's shut that flap off look at that see now that's wicked eh sorry now let's, let's, let's take this off we connect it to here so that we know now that the power is the black. So the power is this green one here. So we put power onto here. It's all ass about fears. And there you go. Now, so look, there's there's the there's it blowing like a thing and you gentlemen at home with wigs on, well you stand back. But watch what happens when I change it over to a different speed it works see see look it's not as violent so we know that the uh, resistor's working resistance this time isn't futile it's actually working so we know that's working this seems to be the colours in here the wrong way around but the fan is actually a right hand drive fan so we, we're happy with that yeah just popped off there. Talked about popping off. It's quarter to five and I've had enough. I've had enough of this week anyway. Um, yeah, it's going to go well. It's working well. The It's all bolted back up. I'll check the resistor. But like I say, what I was going to say to you was this. I, f I forgot. But if I plug this onto the, like the low speed, it, it's a waste of time. You know, it's a complete waste of time. It's two speed. It's either on or off. Hope you like that. You know, it's a bit of a, it's not a fantastic bloody restoration, you know, all jury glitting split pins and stuff like that. It's uh, just a basic heater, it works. 
Um, yeah, it's going to be good for a long time. I don't think it'll be a leg burner, but you, know, you can never tell, can you, with Land Rovers? They could be surprising. See you later. Bye. <laughs>